All right, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make do-it-yourself cigar boxes. Now, these are some that I bought years ago, and they're made of wood, and they have the felt on it. And basically, you can see they're kind of like coming apart. Um, some of the boxes are kind of like caving in from use. And they're pretty expensive, honestly. If you want to get a good pair of cigar boxes, sometimes they go from like 20 all the way up to 50 a box. So that'd be like 50, 50, 50, or 30, 30, 30. Earlier today, I was in the post office and I realized that priority boxes are pretty much the same shape as a cigar box. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make some really cheap, do-it-yourself cigar boxes. So right off, you're gonna need some mailing boxes, and I asked them for these, and they just gave me a ton. I only asked for six. At first, I thought I would have to double them up, but these look pretty much the same size. Just a little bit longer than a normal cigar box. So you'll need the boxes, some tape, possibly some scissors to cut the tape with and some spray paint or paint if you want to decorate it. Now you can just make these boxes and play with them like that, but what I'm going to be doing is making like a hefty set. I'm going to try to make them to where they play well. Now what I was going to do is I was going to go and find like some old towels or t-shirts and shove in here, but I found something better in the alleys. A couch cushion with some lovely blood on it or something. So, I'm gonna be using the stuffing from this to fill them. So it's gonna be pretty evenly weighted, I think. If you use towels or a t-shirt, just make sure that you fold them to where the weight is evenly distributed on the box. Because if you stuff the shirt in really awkwardly and a lot of the shirts in one corner, then they're not gonna play very well they're not going to be weighted properly so these are pretty much made in a way where you can just fold them and they're ready to go essentially which is really cool so these tabs on the sides they go in right here like so and then what you want to do is you just want to take this tape cover off it's super sticky. Now you want to make sure that the box is together well before you push this down. That's basically how you fold the priority mailbox. Now if you wanted to, you can just make some of these and practice, but we're going to be stuffing them and decorating them and making them a little bit better. So what you want to do is make the box. Push this in right here. Make sure the tabs go in, right? Now, I've never honestly tried this before. I've never really destroyed a couch cushion for this, but let's see. So I guess, what I'm gonna have to do is just rip this stuff apart. Oh, there's a inside lining. This might actually be better. Okay. I'm just gonna access this foam. I think the foam might be better to cut up and use because it's solid. This actually might be a little bit too messy to do inside of my apartment. This stuff is actually like pretty tough. It's super tough, but it's like a really nice material. What's gonna be nice about it is it'll be evenly weighted on the inside of the box. So you won't have to worry about wonky tosses and stuff like that. It's a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. But I think the end result's gonna be way worth it. All 
Alright, that's, that's one. Let's go for the next one. I'm just gonna cut down this path. Now, uh, if you have better scissors around, these are the only scissors I really have. I'd suggest using some super sharp ones because it's pretty tough so far to cut this. I like that you can kind of tear it. Oh man, my fingers work a little better than the scissors. It's, fun. it's funny because when I find couches in the alley, I get upset when they're missing cushions and I only took one from the couch out there. Alright, not the best. This one might need to shave a little bit off right here. Alright, so we need one more. Now that you have your stuffing, you want to fold up your other boxes. So you got your three boxes. You're gonna to want to stuff this in there. Now, these are kind of fat and they're fatter than the box, so I'm hoping they don't push it out. And it might. We'll see. Yeah, it does. It pushes it. Pushes it a little bit, so I'm gonna shave this down. Now see, it's what's happening is it's poofing it out. Like when I put this one in, this one does pretty well because it, it fits. This one does pretty well too. So I gotta fix this because it's a little bit too fat. Much better. Now from this point, you can close them up and probably play with them like a cigar box. But you don't want any puffage. If the box is puffing out, that probably will result in a wonky set. So you wanna make them kind of skinny to where, you know, it just slides in. All right, so I'm gonna go and spray paint them and then I will finish them up. All right, I have painted them. I did black with some pink and kind of like you can still see the priority information on it, but more layers of paint would have covered that up, but I didn't really have much spray paint. So now this is the part where you stuff them in. Now I'm gonna be putting little pieces in here. I don't think this is really necessary, but it might help it. So now this part, you wanna make sure to push them together well. Get that lined up before you push this down. And give it a firm seal. Put that to the side. Get your next box ready. Just do the same thing. And now you have your three boxes. So this next process is basically taping it up. I'm gonna use Gorilla Tape because it's just way stronger, it's a better product. You can probably get away with using other tapes, but you're gonna wanna use like duct tape or something that's pretty hefty. Now with this part, I'm gonna tear pieces pretty much the size that the box is. And what I'm gonna do is cut them in half. And what you wanna do is put it down on the edge and push it over. And this is gonna take like quite a lot of tape, but that's fine. So just make sure you have enough tape. And make sure if you want it a clean look, make sure the ripped part is the part that you're putting 
over the top. That way the tape on the box side won't have any fray. This might be the most tedious part of the whole process. We'll do that same thing on the smaller edges. I'm not gonna put any right here, and you'll see why in a second. So you're gonna wanna just do that to the rest of the boxes. All right, now that you have all of your edges covered, you're gonna wanna basically Get a long piece of tape. I'm not exactly sure how long, but you're gonna want it pretty long. Uh, I'm hoping that this is the right length. Now what you're gonna do, is you gotta be real careful with this part, but what you wanna do is cover all of this. push it down and what this does is it seals the top and it makes a really clean fit so you're gonna go and you're gonna do that same thing again now what I do is I try to find the skinniest edge and this one seems to be pretty good on all sides I barely made that so you're gonna wanna make like, you wanna make sure it's long enough. So for this piece, I need it a little bit longer cause I was a little too short. Seems like it needs to be about this long. Again, try to find the side with the thinnest edge like this. Cause you're gonna wanna put that down first so that you make sure that you get that covered up properly. push down make sure it's all really good and stuck and you're basically done you've got yourself some cigar boxes now I kind of just did this as I went I don't typically make videos like this I kind of think them through I, I legitimately was at the post office like a couple hours ago and I thought to do this and I think it turned out pretty good I'm gonna test them out now. These are pretty good for just some pieces of cardboard stuffed with some stuff. You can see they're kind of getting scuffed up, but that's expected. I had some pretty bad drops and spills, and they hold up pretty good. Like, 
the corners are probably gonna start denting in with more drops and the edges might get messed up if, if it hits something like this but overall like these are pretty decent for just some do-it-yourself cigar boxes so yeah hopefully this inspires some people to make some because cigar boxes are really fun it's super hard though I'm about to have a heat stroke it's just so hot in here and I'm jumping up and down. It's, it's it's very up and down toy where you have to bend down and jump up to do the tricks. But yeah, these are really cool. Of course, like normal cigar boxes that you buy off of the store are gonna be a little bit more grippier because of the felt. The felt on the boxes make them way grippier. So you won't get that kind of feeling with the tape. I'm sure you could buy felt tape and do the same thing and they'd be way better. But just for some duct tape and cardboard, these are really nice. So hopefully this inspires you to go make some yourself and try cigar boxes. Cigar box juggling is pretty cool prop. So yeah, go make yourself some. Pretty much a free toy if you already have tape. Thanks for watching.